how to hook up a FM antenna that's 75 ohms to your receiver. A lot of receivers will have this as your FM antenna input. This is 75 ohms. The problem is a lot of times you just get a wire, a dipole antenna. This wire will split off into a T. It's called a dipole. It has two wire actual, it has two wires, and then at the top it goes into a T. And the problem is, is that's 300 ohms. To get it to 75 ohms, you'll need about a little part. And this converts 300 ohms to 75 ohms. It's a three to five dollar, maybe six dollar part. You can get them on eBay. And what it does, you see, you put your two wires onto it, and then it has a plug that plugs right into your FM slot. Okay? Just plug it in and you're done. And then the best thing to do is to spread your antenna and make it just like a T. You can hide it somewhere. It doesn't have to be exactly like a T, but the more like a T it is, the better it's going to pick up. As far as AM antennas, most of the time they're going to be um, a coil type antenna like this, and it's going to have two wires, and you're going to have push just like you put in a speaker from the AM slot. Um, both leads into there to pick up AM uh, adequately. And then you can move this around if to, to pick up the signal for the best. It can be screwed into something or you fold it into this little thing so you can just place it on top of something. Some receivers will have where you can hook up the two, the two wires, the 300 ohm directly. Um, however, most of the receivers nowadays, if you get up even in the middle low line, will have the FM 75 ohms. You can see it actually even says 75 ohms right there. But again, um, sometimes they don't even come with the antennas anymore. So you'll have to, or if it does, it'll just have the wires and go, what the world in the world? Sometimes they'll come with this little device. If they don't, again, just go to eBay and search 300 ohm to 75 ohm FM adapter. And then you plug it in just like that.